physically, you know, strength in the weight room or just being a quarterback in general, it's it's really helped. And being under Solon, a veteran, and, and a coach like Coach Jersey, uh, I feel like I've gotten a lot better in the past year. So, Bo, you went from two-time PA player of the year, now you get to college, and it's a different world, right? You go from a senior to a freshman, an old player to a young player, starter to being four string. How did you deal with all that in your arm, that, just that bit, that big change, multiple changes, I guess I would say, so. Yeah, well, I feel like it's the same for a lot of the players on our team. Uh, all of us are really good players in high school that's why we're here and we just have to you know take on the challenge of playing at Penn State at first you know you're not going to hit the ground running uh, you have to grind you have to earn respect to your teammates and your coaches and I think that's really just what I've done and just taking it day by day you talked about getting better in, in every aspect over your, your first year but in specific areas where do you feel like your game has really kind of grown from where you were a year ago I think really uh, the physical part is, is natural like you always get better physically there's always room for growth um, but Really, I want to put an emphasis on, you know, the film room and high school to college is a lot different mentally. Um, you have a lot more, you know, to focus on, whether it's protections or reading coverages and, and the X's and O's sort of part. So I think I've really, you know, taken that and, and really, you know, tried to grind on it because that's probably the biggest change from high school was something I really wanted to get better at. And I think that I definitely improved in that area. Did you run the scout team last year? Yes. In practice. Mm -hmm. So how will that change this year? Will you getting whether you're the, the backup or the starter? Will you be involved with more reps? I'm not sure reps wise. Uh, it's a long way away, so I can't really say anything about that. What you talk about, about on the scouts? Um, you know, really, I think. I enjoy, you know, being able to go against our defense because, you know, our defense was one of the best defenses in the country. And I think, you know, being able to learn and just, you know, kind of sit back and, and you know, go against a defense, a different speed, and give them a look. You know, I enjoy doing it, and I think I got better doing it. How is your relationship with Drew, and what did you learn from Sean? Our, my relationship with Drew, Drew is really good. Um, you know, we came in together both early and early. Uh, both quarterbacks, um, you know, we connected right away because, you know, we have a lot of you know, similarities because, like I just said, you know, we both came early, um, you know, and, and we're, I would say we're really good friends and, uh, you know, we help each other out a lot and, you know, we compete against each other. And as far as Sean, you know, Sean, uh, you know, really just being an older guy and really an older brother figure to me in terms of, he really helped me out mentally with the game. Physically, you know, if I ever needed anything um, from Sean or from anybody, Sean was always there to, you know, help me out. Especially thinking back at last year, this time when I first got here, you know, he really took me under his wing, and I really, really thank him for that. How is your mentality different now than it was when you and Bowen early this time last year? I'm sure the newness last year, that's something, right? But in terms of just being here now for a year, approaching these winter workouts and this spring camp. How was your mentality changed? It really hasn't. Uh, when I came in, you know, I made a decision on what type of mentality I wanted to have. You know, I wanted to be a competitor. You know, I wanted to be true to myself, and it's really stayed the same. I don't, you know, I don't have a change in you know how I act or anything. I really want to be consistent and really just you know take it day by day. What's Jackson brought so far? Or what have you seen so far in Jackson in terms of getting to know him? Jackson's a great guy. You know, he came he came into the quarterback room. He's a great addition. Um, you know, really haven't been around him too much. Uh, starting to get around him a little more with winter workouts starting up. Um, but, you know, he's a bright kid, a uh, talented kid. We've thrown a little bit. Um, and, you know, I'm just excited that he's part of our room now. So you said that constantly like one play away at any, at any given point. How do you prepare for that? To be ready at, at any given moment, no matter what happens with Drew, injury, playing well, playing poorly, well. Well, you always prepare if you're the starter if, or if you're the fourth string. I always prepare as if, you know, I am the starter, so that's really the only way that I prepare. So you want Drew to do well, obviously, but the better he performs, there can only be one quarterback, so that lessens your chance chance of getting on the field. How do you kind of deal with that balance? You know, really, I'm not focused about the season and the depth chart right now. I'm really just focused on bettering myself. James said that he wants to see, you know, given that the quarterback room is, is so young and that you lost someone like Sean who had such a voice on the team that, and the quarterback, obviously, that's where people look. 
you know, what can you and, and Drew do, you know, even as second year players, to you know be leaders and you know, step into you know that role that you know, got vacated by Sean and some of the other guys who left. Yeah, well, you know, Sean left, but having his presence for a whole year, both me and Drew were able to experience that is you know super big because I learned from him and he was a you know. He was a four-year captain. I mean, he was a tremendous leader, and I think we've really, you know, soaked those qualities in. And um, although, you know, Drew and I may be young, we're, you know, the quarterback position always has to be a leader, um, regardless of, of age or anything like that. You know, so really, leadership is important to us um, at the quarterback position. So, anytime a local kid, a PA kid, gets to play at Penn State, that's obviously a pretty cool thing. What has the support been from? Uh, your family, friends, the people back in York, how have they supported you and what has that support meant to you since you became a Nitty Lion? Yeah, really supportive. You know, that's something I knew going into coming to Penn State, you know, how you know, amazing the Penn State fan base is. You know, it's nothing but support, especially people from my own town. And it means a lot to me, um, you know, you know, playing in high school and then having my back and out Penn State, you know, it, it means a lot. We have a really good fan base in Penn State. A lot can change.